what's going on beautiful people and welcome back to another comic book review video i'm your majestic say of words supercliff and if you guys are new to this channel then do me a solid by smashing that like and subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you'll never miss out on an upload and so that you'll always be kept up to date with your favorite top tier comics happening in the comic book world and today folks we are back in the lovely city of bloodhaven fear state get out <laughs> because we are continuing our story with Nightwing, issue number 87, written by the glorious Tom Taylor with the art by Bruno Rodano. And guys, if you have been keeping up with the series, then definitely check out the playlist within this video's description. It will help catch everyone up on what's been happening. Now, following the events of Nightwing issues 78 through 83, with having inherited millions of dollars from Alfred's will, Dick Grayson has put into effect his plan his plan for saving the people of Bloodhaven, physically, emotionally, and financially. For Dick wants to be the guy to help those sinking from, from desperation. Because unlike him, not everyone gets to be recruited by the one and only Batman. However, with Dick making his intentions public, many of Bloodhaven's criminal underworld are not too happy with Dick Grayson's proclamation. Thus, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Alrighty, folks. So our story picks up in the city of Bloodhaven, where we see Dick Grayson on his way to a meeting about public housing. And while en route during the middle of the day, Dick gets a phone call from Barbara, and she warns him to get off the street because someone filthy rich has placed a bounty on him. Now Dick, he isn't too worried since you know he values the concept of having a secret identity. However, as it turns out, the bounty isn't for Nightwing, rather it's for Dick Grayson, and with that, we immediately transition into this comic's true form, as it turns itself into a legitimate side-scrolling chase epic. And while Dick is running about, avoiding tons of gunfire from hired hitmen, we follow Dick to where he's able to suit up in his Nightwing costume, and thus, continuing on with the side-scrolling John Wick-esque fight scene. Now, as his chase continues on, Dick's silent burglary alarm goes off, basically telling us the audience and Dick that Assassins have barged into his home, but with no one present but Haley, Dick's newly adopted dog, aka Nut Bitewing, the hitmen seemingly desperate capture Haley and immediately drive off, to which we see Nightwing in hot pursuit. Now it's here where Barbara herself joins in on the chase by donning her Batgirl costume, and as we trail our heroes through the next couple or so pages of wonderful high-speed chase, both Dick and Barbara are able to take out the assassins whilst being able to corner the last remaining one. But this guy has Haley at gunpoint. But fortunately, due to his acrobatic prowess, Nightwing is able to take out the gang's leader and is able to somersault out of the window. Thereby, he is able to successfully save Haley. And that, folks, was Nightwing, issue number 87. And hot damn on a stick. What a fun and creative palate cleanser to bring us back to the main narrative within Bloodhaven. Now, typically, I dislike whenever a comic goes full on for an artistic style that we've occasionally seen before in past comics for a page or two, but here the book utilizes the side-scrolling manner from the second page onward. However, this side-scrolling aspect works extremely well here in this comic because it gives us the readers a viewing of Bloodhaven that I don't think we've ever actually seen before. For almost every section of the city is detailed with incredible artwork and a sense of life and community. And it's simple things from seeing the homeless area, seeing people in their winter coats doing whatever it is that, you know, they're doing, or things that perhaps we see in the everyday life. Like for me, whenever I go into Boston, there's always a giant pride flag that I see against a giant building whenever I take the exit, whenever I go to park in the parking garage. And in this book, we see it hooked against a giant building as well. So yeah, this comic definitely makes Bloodhaven feel alive and very relatable, thereby it's a city that is worth saving, and we don't care about Bloodhaven because it's a city that Dick care cares about, it's a city that Dick wants to save, we care about the city because we're getting to know it, we're getting to know it personally, we're getting to know Bloodhaven. Now the only downside to this comic, you know, is the fact that there's barely any story. And yes, that may be true, but I think this comic's main goal was to bring its readers back into Bloodhaven, whilst at the same time wanting to show us what Dick is planning to save. And also to remind us that, you know, Tom Taylor's words are back in Bloodhaven, along with the art by Bruno Rodano and the colors by Adriano Lucas. Everything is back to where it should be prior to Fear State. And this comic 
does exactly that. Overall, Nightwing issue number 87 gets an 8 out of 10. And guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button in order to show your support to the channel. And tell me, what are your thoughts and opinions on this issue? What do you guys think whenever, you know, uh, a writer or an artist, they use a visual artistic style to, to sort of narrate the comic? Do you guys appreciate that? Or do you prefer the, the basic reading experience that comics usually do? You know, with like six or so panels each page and it's not like a side scroll. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And until the next video, peace.